Oh, uh, this is going to be my final uh, inbox, unbox, review thing, whatever, for today. Um, the biggest kit. Although, they're all 172, but this one will end up being the biggest. It's in the biggest box. Um, those of you who watched my uh, previous video, to the previous video, to the previous video, to the previous video, the, the one where I updated with the C5. Um, then you'll see that I, I mentioned briefly in that video that I did have this kit sitting in the pile. It's now part of a f kit, four kits sitting in the pile. Um, but I have to say, it's one of the ones I'm looking forward to building most, actually. And that is, as you can probably tell, the Harrier GR7 slash GR9. So, it's a new tool from Airfix. I have fallen in love again with Airfix through their new tools. I think they're bloody brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to building up this, 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 this plane. I built a 172nd uh, Harrier as a kid. I can't remember for the life of me what mark it was or what make it was or anything, but um, as a kid I built one, but I remember I made the mistake of when I built it up, I put the hard point, as I glued the hard points to the wings, before I put the wings on the plane, they were lying flat on the ground, so needless to say, when I put them on the plane, and they obviously point towards the ground. All the hard points were squint. Um, but there you go. You know, you live and learn. Won't be making that mistake again. So, uh, as you can see, it's quite a large box. It's, for those who care, a top opener. Um, you can build three different versions. At least in terms of the instructions and, and stenciling that's here. So you can build a GR9... Um, from Op Herrick in 2009, you can build a GR9 from Cottus Moore in December 2010, or a GR7 again from um, uh, Op Herrick in 2006. Slightly different paint schemes, the top and bottom ones are very similar, although one's a GR9, one's a GR8, uh, GR7, so they're slightly different in terms of the actual aircraft. Middle one's a GR9, and that's the one I'm going to go for purely because it's got colours in it. Um, it's also, it's kind of like an anniversary um, one, because obviously in 2011 all the Harriers were withdrawn from British service and sold off. Bloody travesty, if you ask me. Um, and so so this middle paint scheme here is kind of a commemorative one, and because uh, that's how they were originally painted before all planes became grey. Uh, they, they did it as this kind of... Um, you know, light coloured bottom camouflage top, and it's got slightly bigger round dolls on it than it normally would because I think it was more of a commemorative thing. Um, and I thought that was quite fitting, I thought I'd do that. And it's also the chance to paint camouflage on it, which is always cool. So, in the box, we get a nice big instruction sheet, um, stencil data. This is rubbish, but there you go, you get the idea. It's also down, but stencil data. Oh, which is actually is a separate sheet, which is quite cool. Because then it means that when you're doing your stencil data, you don't have to um, have your instructions as later. I don't have huge amounts of space for instructions and stuff usually, so you get the GR9 stencil data and the GR7 slash GR9 so basically option if you go for options A and C you use this stencil data if you go for option B which is what I'm going to be doing you go for this stencil data so that's that and your instructions very clear cut um, your usual options for weapons um, you know landing gear in and out etc etc <clears throat> So all of that nonsense. So what do we have? Clear sprue. Right, let's see if I can get this. Bear with me. There we go. So clear sprue. Um, oddly, it's moulded this way for the canopy, and I think I've heard people saying yet yeah, there's a a mould line runs up the middle of the canopy, so that will require a bit of polishing out. But in terms of clarity, excellent. You know that that front one as well is really good. Um, and there's only two other little clear bits. I think there's a nose sensor uh, and something else here on the edge. And it's wrapped separately. 
Um, these main sprues, which I'm about to show you, were in, a, were in their own box, but I um, uh, were in their own bag. Sorry, but I took them out just because I've already had a look at the kit several times because I'm like a child at Christmas. Um, Alright. What do we have here? Decals from Cardgraph, as usual. Very, very thin. Very, very nice. Um, no cockpit uh, dials, um, so which means it must be molded on, which I think it is. All your different ones for all the weapons on the bottom, your paveways, your rockets, your uh, sniper targeting pods, your sidewinders. Common featured ones, so your um, your warning ones here. These are the deck cards from the canopy, there actually is a transfer, so I'm not entirely sure how that, how, um, how that's going to work, because I use Microsoft all Microsoft to set my decals. I don't know what it'll do to the clear plastic. I hope it won't. So I'll test that on a bit of clear plastic sprue first. Make sure that those setting solutions are not going to fog up the canopies while I apply um, apply these decals. Uh, I'm going for option B here. So you can see that the roundels are a bit bigger than on the other ones. Um, you've got the the dates here: in November to uh, 1960, December 2010. Um, wow, 50 years of that here. Wow. Technology. Eh? Um, and the other ones which have actual squadron markings and stuff, which this one doesn't do, that's the only thing, but... Uh, and lots and lots and lots of tiny little stencils. I hate them! Anyway, must, needs must, eh? So what do we have? Three sprues of grey plastic. Let's start with this one. So what do we have? We have... Drop tanks. Um, so we've got wing wheels. I think they're the other one that's for when they're in their raised position, I believe. Uh, drop tank, drop tanks. So you get two drop tanks. Um, I believe these are part of the ejector seat. You've got your fan, really nice molded, uh, crisp fan detail there, cracking. Um, deployed wing landing gear. Um, I think these are CVR-7 rocket pods, the other halves of which are here. Um, main landing gear. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the inside of the lower wing. Uh, this is quite cool. So this is the, um, the tub where the main landing gear go. So if you've got them in the, in the deployed position, you, put, you use this bit and you attach it to this bit but if you're having them in the uh, retracted position then you only need to use uh, this bit although I think the air brake also goes on here as well which is quite cool that's the other side so it's really cool I mean look at these these are these little wing wheels are weighted as well how cool is that? marvellous uh, you've got main wheels here as well I think that's going to be the nose wheel and the two main wheel which are all weighted um, as well, which is quite cool. Uh, so what do we have here? Um, now I think these are the top body tops, fuselage tops. And I guess that the GR7 and the GR9 have slightly different tops. Although uh, I can't, I can only see very slight difference. There is a difference actually, yeah. Uh, the top of the wings. Um, flaps, Harrier have got huge big flat flaps, so you can have them in their um, deployed position. I think I'll have mine on the ground, so I'll probably have mine deployed just because it adds a bit of interest. Um, some more weapon stores up the top here. Hard points, main undercarriage um, stand, the nozzles, which are linked. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh no, they're not actually. They're not linked. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Um, I seem to remember when uh, the one I had before, you could move the nozzles, and the nozzles were linked across. When you moved one set, the other set across, you know, the other the other nozzle on the other side of the fuselage moved as well. So you have to, I think that's something you'll have to be a bit careful about is making sure that um, all your nozzles are in the same position. Um, you'll also get a bit of a join because there's each one's in a in a half. Um, so they might just take a little bit of filling just to um, purely just to, to neaten those up. Cockpit tub. It, there is raised detail on the arms there, but it's a little sparse actually. There's not a huge amount because I mean I suppose so much was digital that 
There's not huge amounts of big buttons. Um, again, maybe some decals would have been quite good for there. Um, I think that's part of the back of the back of the canopy somewhere. Um, so that's that. What else do we have? So here we've got elevators. These are linked actually, there's a wee spar there, that's quite cool. You get two sets of um, intake rings. One for if it's on the ground when the, the intake rings are open and the other for when they're closed. Um, paveway bombs, sidewinders, um, you get a refueling probe, so you can have the refueling probe in the extended position or there's the one that's in the retracted position. Hard points, uh, I think these are going to be undercarriage, bay doors, uh, pistol tubes, aerials, closed undercarriage doors, one fuselage half. Uh, these are part of the um, the big fan intake, various other sensors and sticky outy bits. The nose, so the two, f the two fuselage halves go together first. Then the cockpit gets sandwiched between these two nose sections and that gets added into the front of the plane. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, more bombs. Um, there is a touch of cockpit detail here. Um, this is part of the nose wheel bay, so it's detailed. And there's a little bit of framework detail here and there. Um, nothing particularly major, though. Um, you've got your control stick up here it's quite nicely detailed, the inside of the air brake as well is nicely detailed some nice rivet detail there and these are something so yeah that is the Harrier um, yeah I'm really looking forward to, uh, to building this kit, I think it's going to be uh, a good kit to build, I think it should, it'll, by the looks of it it will fit well together um, and so yeah, I'm really looking forward to painting this one and building it up. Excuse me. So that's that. Um, thank you. For